Vasa athletes, I'm Dan Daly, CSCS, and the co-creator of the Equinox Group Swim Program, EQX H2O. And today I'm here to talk about Vasa's Lane 9 Dryland Swim concept using a circuit that I like to use with my swimmers. The format today is going to be five exercises in a continuous circuit using the Vasa swim bench, dryland resistance cords, and hand paddles. The first exercise is going to be swim specific, followed by a lower body exercise, a pulling exercise, a pushing exercise, and a core exercise finishing with two minutes rest, and repeating an in-season training prescription of anywhere from two to eight sets, eight to 15 repetitions, depending on your ability and fitness level, and where you're at in your current training cycle. For our swim specific exercise, we're gonna go ahead and grab the paddles and lay prone or face down on the bench. We first want to establish a nice straight body line from the head all the way to the toes with a nice neutral spine. And then we're gonna go ahead and use an alternating freestyle stroke, starting with that early vertical forearm, driving to the hip and recovering with a high elbow. We want to pick a resistance band that's about seven out of 10 intensity and challenging the last two or three of the prescribed reps. If you don't have dry land resistance cords, but you have a bench, you can do a similar pattern without them. If you don't have a bench, but you have cords, you can do a similar pattern with just the cords. We're gonna to wanna to hinge into that nice long body line from the head to the tailbone, neutral spine, early vertical forearm, driving the hip, high elbow recovery. And if you don't have cords or a bench, you can do a similar pattern in a hinge position. For our lower body exercise, we're gonna do a rear foot elevated split squat. We're gonna go ahead and elevate our back foot, laces down and plant our flexion to work ankle mobility in a kick specific way. And then with an inhale, putting the majority of the weight on your front foot, we're gonna to descend to the floor, getting our knee as close to the floor as possible and then stand up tall, extending through the ankle, the knee, and the hip. We're gonna start with body weight here, but you wanna progress the load and intensity to get about seven out of 10, where it's challenging for the last two or three repetitions. If stability is an issue for that exercise, we can go into a regular split squat on the deck or the floor, split stance, feet right in front of the hips, toes at 12 o'clock, same thing, we're going to start nice and tall. With an inhale, you're going to descend to the floor, knee to the floor, and then stand up nice and tall for the prescribed reps and load. For our pull, we're going to do a single leg double arm pull. Hinging into our lead leg with a nice long spine again from the head to the tailbone, arms along. We're going to take an inhale out in front, drive back, exhale. Inhale forward, exhale back. If stability is a challenge on that exercise, again, you can go into a split stance and repeat the same pattern. Hinge into your hips, nice long spine, straight arm pull. For the push, we're gonna do a feet elevated vertical push. This is a terrific exercise for overhead athletes, particularly swimmers, to work scapular humeral rhythm, coupling that overhead flexion with the scapular upward rotation. With the feet up on the bench, we're gonna root our hands in the floor. Nice long body line again from the head all the way to the tailbone. We're gonna take a deep breath in, exhale, push the floor away, head in between our arms, and then return. If that pattern is challenging for you, we can do something similar to a downward dog, starting in a high plank. Nice long body line. Again, rooting the hands in the floor, we're gonna take an inhale, push the floor away, hips go up to the ceiling, head in between the arms. And finally, for our core exercise, we're gonna do a band resistant supine dead bar. 
Lying on your back, feet elevated, knees over your hips, hands right over your shoulders. With an inhale, we're gonna reach back with the right arm as we extend the left leg. We're gonna bring it back to center and alternate sides. This is a terrific exercise to work the rotational demands of freestyle and backstroke, while also coordinating opposite arm and opposite leg. If you don't have bands and or a bench, you can also do dead bugs on the mat. Knees right over the hips, hands right over the shoulders. We're gonna go ahead and reach back, opposite arm, opposite leg, return to center, and then move the other side. The challenge here is only to move those two limbs at once, keeping the other two limbs fixed. After running through those five exercises continuously, go ahead and take two minutes rest and then repeat anywhere from two to eight sets, again, based on your ability and fitness and where you're at in your current preseason training cycle. So go ahead and give it a shot and let us know your questions and feedback in the comments and look out for more lane nine dryland swim workouts from VASA. Thanks.